Years ago, I did research for a World War II movie. I came across some old Nazi documents. I couldn't believe what I was reading. Call of Duty Black Ops Escalation Map Pack is nigh, and it shall be yours starting May 3rd, first on Xbox 360. Escalation comes packed with four multiplayer maps, Convoy, Hotel, Stockpile, and Zoo. But we begin, my friends, in the darker corners of Escalation, an unsettling Arctic freeze where an undead threat terrorizes a landmark event in the horror film genre. In the land of Black Ops, horror film icon George Romero has secured the talents of Fright Fest legends like Robert England, otherwise known as Freddy, Danny Trejo from Machete fame, Michael Rooker from Walking Dead, and of course Sarah Michelle Gellar from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now alas, things go terribly amiss and our actors must take up their arms in earnest. The new Zombies map, Call of the Dead, is by far the largest, most ambitious Zombies undertaking yet. Jimmy Zielinski from developer Treyarch explains just how they arrived at Call of the Dead. Everything in Zombies happens this way. It's like, you know, somebody will say one thing, wouldn't it be great if we got this or that? And certainly in a conversation about new characters, you know, somebody's going to mention George Romero or Danny Trejo, and it just spirals at that point, you know. It just takes one spark for somebody to say something that just becomes something of this magnitude. No, jefe, I do it like this. Danny! It's a iced-in shipwreck. You have lighthouse, you have really creepy environments, you have really long shots. Whenever we think of uh, creating zombie maps, we always kind of think of what style of gameplay, are people going to run? Are they going to hold? And we always try to lean a little bit one way or the other without completely removing anybody's gameplay. And in this map, we are going to highlight sniping. Uh, it's something that kind of harkens way back to the original map that was in World of War, where there was a lot of sniping perches available. And this kind of goes back towards that, allowing people who love to snipe some really long vistas and some great advantages on shooting early. Some of the ways to get around the map in this one stray a bit further away from teleporters. We have zip lines. You're going to jump on the zip line. You're going to turn 360. You're going to shoot. Zombies are going to follow you. We have a uh, catapult, which we call the flinger. The flinger is just all around chaos. It's got a little time delay, so it kind of you know can trip you up. But at the end of the day, if you learn how to use it, it can be a very effective way to get rid of zombies, to get yourself out of trouble. And these are distances that you're covering that are just immense. I mean, being flung across the map. Of course, there's more to the setting than just the talent. Jimmy was also kind enough to offer a couple of tips for getting the most out of Call of the Dead. I would give a really vague tip, but it's very, very helpful, and that is just shoot everything. Just shoot everything. And if you do that, and you do that with a lot of different guns, you're going to find some really interesting things happen that you maybe you weren't expecting. I would certainly advise when coming up against George that you really kind of watch what he does and you learn about the various ways to interact with him because there's not just one. You know, there's something for the people who have this instinct to kill him, Go for it. You know, it's going to work out in the end, hopefully. But there's also other ways that you can deal with him that don't necessarily mean wasting your ammo. So I would just watch him and learn how he operates. And finally, don't forget just how important you, the community, are when it comes to influencing the design and evolution of zombies. We actually watch the forums quite regularly for a lot of our ideas and our inspiration and kind of what they're expecting. We don't always try to give it to them verbatim, but sometimes in a roundabout way or sometimes later than they expect. We'd like to thank Jimmy for taking the time to guide us through Call of the Dead. And now, we'll turn our attention to the multiplayer map. We think Convoy, Hotel, Stockpile, and Zoo tell their own story of their own accord. So sit back, relax, turn up the volume, and enjoy pure, unadulterated Black Ops gameplay from the new maps. Thanks everyone for watching Inside Xbox.
coolest thing? Some of that crazy happened right here.